We are so excited. This entire week is devoted to art impressions and Kate and Bonnie will be with us and Kate is here today. I'm so excited. Thank you for having us and we are we have so many cool ideas that we're going to be bringing to you <laughs> of course this time you do. around. Yes. <laughs> So and today, today is? we're working on our twist ties. So these are an interactive card where they've got two cute little characters that are doing a hug in the center of a trifolded card. You are going to love it. And we're going to show you how. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here are the twist ties. There are four of them. We love them. So there are all these different designs. We have our dog twist tie sending a teeny weeny hug with the sentiment. <laughs> we have our elephant twist tie. Thanks. A ton, you're unforgettable. I think that's my favorite. <laughs> We've got our giraffe as well, the hugs to you. And then I love this flamingo twist tie. It's your birthday, let's flamingo. <laughs> let's flamingo, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all made in a similar manner. Yes. So we're going to, Kate's going to walk you through the steps. But here is the first one, and this is with the uh, doggy twist ties. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I guess you should do the unveiling. They're super fun because they're made to be on a gate folded card, and they're a little bit longer than a gate fold so that they can untwist and reveal in the center. Okay. So they completely fold all the way up together, and you can just twist them around like this, but they have these cute little heart shaped designs that can reveal into the inside of your cards. And that's what's wonderful about these. I'm just turning this over, and I know it's a little tricky to see, but you can see that the cutting die is in the back and the stamps are on front so everything is in one package. Yep all the instructions as well and I'm going to show you how to align these little l-shape um, corners as okay. well to get your perfect twist tie card. Okay go for it. All right <laughs> let's get started. Now you're starting with your um, uh, twist tie cards. Yes. Okay. So we've got an eight pack of cards. Okay. The instructions do include how you could create your own card base, but I like to grab a pack of cards just because yeah. it's easy. You can grab it out, get started right away. And this has got eight cards and eight envelopes. Yep. So okay. ready to mail. That's even. what you're doing there. Yeah, okay, definitely. So, so let in. me, yep. oh, there we are. <laughs> All right. So this is just a nine and a half by five and a half inch card and it's scored at two and three quarters and seven. So one side is, or a, you can purchase yours or you can okay. purchase some yep, <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes. So, or you can just grab them out of the package and get started. And, <laughs> just, you know, trying to be helpful here. Yes. So the thing that's different about this is that gatefold overlaps. Normally they just touch, Yes. but that's what's needed. So you can kind of see yeah. there how there, there's a little bit of an overlap and one side is just a quarter inch longer. Your mm -hmm. longer side is always going to be on your left panel. Good to know. So let's get started with that one. So I'm going to take my stamp positioner. You can do this with acrylic blocks. I'm going to tell you the stamp positioner, which most of you probably have, is going to be your best tool for this. Um, and you can also use the Misty, of course. Yes, same of course. Same thing. <laughs> so, um, so we've got our little stamps here. And I'm going to start with my kind of um, left corner or left panel, but it's going to be this right corner. So you can easily see which which stamp goes to where. Okay. And then this is just going to fit up into the corner. So we created this L piece, but it's not meant to be inked or stamps. It's just going to give you an alignment tool. Oh, nice. So we're going to set that up into there. Okay. So that little corner is what you're lining up with the card. Excellent. Exactly. Good for so, you. And if you ever, you know, if you ever are worried about your positioning, if any of your stamps, if you just kind of drop them on your table, it's always going to go back to its original shape. Okay. So, and you're going to see, I'm starting in the middle of my stamp positioner because my um, image hangs off the edge of the card. So where okay. my stamp edge is, is over, you're not going to want to stamp that right against here because it's going to smash against the edge of your positioner. Gotcha. So we're working in the open area. I'm just going to bring this down and we're going to ink this up. Another thing I realized about this is if you wanted to do multiple of your twist tie cards, let's say you want to make five or six of them, ah. just find a spot on your on your positioner and just mm -hmm. keep lining it back up with that inch side. That's a and good then idea. I can just keep replacing the paper yeah. and going over and over and over again. Perfect. All right, so there's my little dog. Okay, let's Take a look at him. Yes. Okay, no, so he's right there. So he's okay. all right off, right <laughs> along the edge. Okay. So um, then we're just gonna switch to the other side. So let's grab this stamp off. We've got this other cute little image with his paws up in the air. I'm the big Dachshund fan. Are you? At Art Impressions. <laughs> and so um, whenever Bonnie comes out with a new Doxy, I I'm just am so excited. So I Is love there a little these. influence going on there? Maybe. <laughs> you might have seen a few more in the last couple of years. I so. see. 
Good to know. <laughs> Little dogs in sweaters and at Christmas time, all sorts of stuff. Well, they're perfect for linking like this. Yeah. So same thing. You're so just doing that on thing, the corner. Just working in the perfect. open corner and bringing perfect. this down. And then another little inking. Just another ink. I know, I have, when I was looking at these dogs, I'm like, wouldn't it be cute if you did a dog party and you did the invitation oh. on the inside, like when, where? You did it behind the little dogs. Like, Why, of course so it would. For like a little, you know, I've seen some little girls' birthday parties, or yep. even if you're just a dog lover, that'd be a great birthday party invite. All right. Oh, cute. Okay, so just right at the edge there. Right at the very edge. So you can see on both sides um, that there's, um, yep. They're really right on those edges and you can kind of already see how they're going to come together. Yeah. So all we're going to do from there is get some, get our dies aligned. Okay. Do you need stencil tape? Yes, please. Okay. So we're just going to line these guys up. Oh, just right around the puppy. Mm -hmm. okay. Right around the puppy. So I always line up my side and then I kind of can move up and down where I need my dogs Good. to align. On both Die sides. number two, yep. Okay. So these hearts will just come together. So it's not, you know, what impresses me so much, it's not only that they're darling images, but that the engineering has been done to make it reproducible and easy. Oh, yes. So good uh, job. Yes. Oh, good well, job over there. Bonnie's the one that's <laughs> just just making it work. So um, so I've got my, my dies all aligned and they're all ready to go. We're gonna do some movie magic. Okay. I'd run this through my die cut machine. Just like that. Just, just like that. Through. And you're gonna see exactly how the dies okay. come out like this. Okay. And so from there. Let's get this out of yep, the way. Yep, we'll move this guy. The easiest thing to do for your image to make sure that everything is aligned is to match up those cute little hearts at the very top. Right. So that's going to be your center point. And I'm going to just grab a bone folder. Okay. So we're always going to come back to the center area in the middle of our hearts. And then I can flatten oh. out my score to make sure it's absolutely perfect. Okay. So that might shift a little tiny just bit. Just a little tiny okay. bit if I flip it around for you. Good. So right there. Okay. And now we've got perfect alignment. Nice. Nice. So, and you can see, you can either hook, squeeze your pages so you can hook ah, them together, okay. or you can always just peel them with your fingers back and right, forth. Right, either way. So then you go about finishing, doing yep, the coloring and so forth. this is exactly how you're going to, I finished off the cards. I just used some alcohol-based inks, um, used a little bit of just like a little finger dauber. Oh, okay. So, and some inks to make some little clouds Sorry. and some, some cute little <laughs> grass on the bottom. And if you are using alcohol-based ink, before you run your die cut piece, before you run that die, just put a piece of cardstock on the inside, and that'll cover up any sort of bleed you might have from an alcohol-based marker. Okay, right, because so, that will happen. And just sweet. like that, a sweet, a little hug in the mail. I that, just oh, love that's that nice. Idea. Okay. So, and there's... speaking of hugs in the mail, we have um, this little elephant, which I just Cute think is so elephant. absolutely darling. I've got them wrong way, don't I? No, that's no? good. And okay. it, like, it's got a little stencil on there. It's got that sentiment on the inside. So all sorts of cute ideas. And I like filling that back area. So you've got that heart that you can do and, and fill it with something else. Here's yeah. one with... Um, papers on it oh, so I just really I love that pattern paper yeah. too on the yeah. elephant gosh All I wonder where you together. can get that so, yeah. paper, which is <laughs> <Super> <laughs> so really cute. Sweet. and the message is um, thanks a ton you're unforgettable sweet it's sweet sweet sweet, sweet. Yeah. okay and giraffe we don't want to leave any of them out yeah. I think that's cute doing well, a little hugs to you yes, cloud very sweet so, and then here it is with some gorgeous paper that's a beautiful <laughs> little sunset too in the yeah. background but yeah very cute again you can do cute it. paper and then last but not least there are flamingos <laughs> the flamingos might be my favorite I mean I love really doxies cute. but flamingo <laughs> I love this flamingo <laughs> card so much now what's inside oh we've got a cute little gift card of course so you can make a little Ah, uh, okay. Just a cute little pouch on the inside so you can send a little gift card. 
that's nice. That um, works nicely. So just piece of paper and just mm -hmm. glue the, the edges. Yep, yeah. just those edges. Make a little pouch. And it's, it's your birthday. Let's flamingle. I love it. <laughs> Very darling. Okay. Yes, you do wonder what creative mind can <laughs> think of all of this. And uh, that is Art Impressions and Bonnie, who you will see later in the week. Thank you. Yes, A delight, of as always. And please join us tomorrow for more art impressions and more week of episodes.